Hello, my name is Irfan. I am a senior research fellow here in Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea is a leading biofilm and microbiome uh, research center in Singapore. At the beginning of the pandemic, we know that the majority of COVID-19 testing were done on the individual levels by collecting the nasopharyngeal swabs. So we were thinking uh, if there is a way to actually survey on the population level, so a large scale testing of a space that where a lot of people actually agglomerate. That's how we thought of an air sampling, how we can sample the air and test if we could detect some airborne viral materials there. And when we have a positive detection, then we could assume that there could be an infected person in that space. And from then, we can uh, do the necessary control measures. Since we have the air microbiome background here in Chelsea, we adapted our ultra-low biomass uh, air microbiome analysis pipeline into the SARS-CoV-2 analysis pipeline. And we work together with our uh, National University Hospital collaborators and we tried to start this project. The hospital wards in National University Hospitals were used to house or care for COVID-19 patients because we know at the time there were a lot of patients and there were still no vaccinations. So we tried to do air sampling in that space. So that would be the positive or what we thought would be positive uh, space. And of course, we also do in, in other wards, in the, also in the same hospitals, where there were no patients, and we tried to compare the two. So we use our filter-based air sampler, and we try to sample with different flow rates. So we try different flow rates of the air sampling, and in the end, we found out that <clears throat> when you increase the air sampling flow rate, you have a much higher detection of uh, airborne SARS-CoV-2. And this finding can uh, be used as a standard if people uh, would like to do this type of airborne surveillance in their public spaces. If you are thinking about places with a lot of occupancy right now, probably shopping malls, if we can deploy these types of air sampler, we could have an early detection method faster than if you require these people to do tests when they experience the symptoms, right? So once you collect the air samples, you can imagine that we are going to treat the air sample as if it was a nasopharyngeal swab. So you can do you know, antigen tests if you want, which gives you a very short time of analysis. However, the accuracy is a bit lower. You can also do qPCR tests where it may take a bit longer, maybe a few hours to extract the biological materials and then do the qPCR, but you have much higher accuracy. So in terms of the processing part, it still takes a bit of time, but with all the new processing methods that are also appearing in medical environmental studies of SARS-CoV-2 uh, in the environments right now, I think we can explore uh, other methods that could facilitate a faster processing method and hopefully it can be deployed in actual public spaces in the